Today we are opening a pyramid of mystery cubes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I'm opening six mystery cubes which make a pyramid. We also have a seventh mystery cube. That will be for the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about these mystery cubes. I don't think I've opened these specific ones before. They have legacy packs inside, which is pretty cool. So you guys can win that. Just make sure to enter the giveaway. All right, let's get into the opening. We do have six, so it might be a little bit of a longer video. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you do like the longer videos, make sure to let me know in the comments so I can uh, continue to make longer videos. If you guys have any sort of mystery products or cool stuff like that that you want to sell to, like, to me for the channel, or if you just want it to be open on the channel, let me know because I do love to open this kind of stuff. And I know you guys like it as well so let's see what we can get hopefully we can get you know the pot of extravagance the black luster soldier i don't think we're gonna get these but it'd be pretty cool what exactly was in here one legacy pack two boosters five rares okay maybe i have opened these or are they just the same every time they're always slightly different but pretty similar so let's see what we got let's see if i can not reveal all of everything i think we probably just revealed some but here's a bunch of our cards Oh, wait, we got an actual ultra from Battles of Legend and Relentless Revenge. That's actually somewhat old. Not old, but sort of. Let's see if there's anything in these commons that we would want. Uh, last time we got a token collector, so that was actually pretty good for, like, one of our rares. Uh, so far, I'm just seeing a bunch of stuff. I don't know much about these cards. Ruin. There's a Ruin card. Very cool. March of the Monarchs. Pretty funny. Cosmo Brain. Okay. Terrifying Toddler of Torment. There it is. We pulled that the other day, I think. Mini Boral Dragon. Prank is Roxy's, I think, is actually a decent card. Guard Dragon. Um, Buzzsaw Shark. That just that got reprinted in the most le recent Legendary Duelist. So, yeah, definitely not very valuable there. And then we got Gusto Goldo from Hidden Arsenal. Not great. All right. There should be a couple of other. Let's just go with the pack. So, we have our Spell Ruler. That's our Legacy Pack. Definitely been crushed to get in there. Very interesting. Then we have a couple of commons. Those aren't really you know too much dark saviors that's pretty cool is it first edition no it's unlimited all right unfortunately and uh more more cards are falling all over the place let's see if we can uh let's just get the pack and then we'll figure out what those cards are cybernetic horizon okay that's not too exciting all right three should be rares because we only got two so far out of our five rares that we get all right infinitrack mountain smasher okay Oh, Magnite Crusadia Avermax. This is a good card. It's the reprint of it, but that's actually a pretty solid card. And then the Emerging Emergency Rescued Rescue. Wow, that is a lot of words. Okay, and Solomon Grade. Very cool. This is actually not a bad card, though. That's probably worth a couple bucks. All right, let's get into those packs. Let's get the Cybernetic Revolution. Let's see what we can pull. Let me know what you guys think about these cubes. I know we've opened some similar ones before. I don't know if we've actually opened this one, though. Shield Handler. We've got the Psychic Ace. Breaking of the World. Noble Knight Kustinen. Kustinen. And Reprodocus. I think that one's really bad. I think they got a reprint in Dual Overload, actually. Let's go to Dark Saviors. Maybe not bad, but not expensive is what I'm trying to say. Okay, is the rare going to be at the front? Or the secret, I should say. Let's do that. Fandora. Vampire Orcus. We got the Vampire Awakening. So many vampire things in here. Ooh, a Shark Cannon. That's a good card. And a Drowning Mirror Force. That was good in Duel Links. But very, very warped. But nice card. I think this is about three or four bucks. Sky Striker did win the YCS at Hartford. So that's actually pretty cool. And now Spell Ruler. I mean, they did play Mystic Mind. But they, they won. I mean, <laughs> win's a win. You know what I'm saying? All right. One, two, three, four. If you got an opinion about that, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm sure you do. Ancient One of the Deep Forest got the Octo Burser. Weather Report. Dark Zebra. Metalfish. The Reliable Guardian. Dark Witch. Okay. Cyber Jar. Very nice. And the Grave Keeper Servant. All right. So we're going to be milling cards. Nothing too crazy there. Honestly, though, the first cube, not that bad. Let's see what the second one can yield. All right. So our commons are... Well, there's our rare, I guess. One of our rares. Metaphys Nephthys. Okay. Then we have Dogmatic and Nexus. All right. We've got uh, Gear Gun Arsenal. That's probably one of our rares, unfortunately. Wait, Force Raider. That's pretty cool. Uh, Blade Knight's not a bad card either. I mean, I might pull the Blade Knight out. Dino Wrestler, Smorg, Silent Doom. I mean, these are not as bad. Some of them are pretty decent cards. Marshmallow and Glasses. Anything else? Cool Beat Raptor. Edgem Scythe. And not Scythe, but Edgem Scythe. All right, Machinas are cool. Block Man, Skilled White Magician, Skilled Dark Magician. I mean, those are not bad cards either. Reversible Beetle, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Very nice. Melfi Mommy, the Cyber Dragon. 
And uh, Cybernetic Overflow is pretty good as well, but I don't think that's too expensive. Then we have Little Doom Swordsman and Forbidden Trabzohedron. Trabzohedron. What in the world is that? I don't know. I think we're missing one. So let's see what our packs are. We have Cybernetic Revolution, Dark Saviors, and Legend of Blue Eyes. So it looks like it's Cybernetic Revolution and Dark Saviors usually. Then uh, was that all our... We must, one of our rares must have been like trapped in there or something. Yeah, I didn't really see five foils for sure but maybe i missed some i don't know let's just see what we can get psychic ace again goki moonsault restoration point guard and dragoonity senatus all right link disciple we got the lebel man lebel man all right link devotee and the crusadia leonidas i don't know if that was what that said or not i just put it away too quickly <laughs> sometimes i don't even finish reading the card that's just how it goes sometimes all right and i just noticed on the side of obs right here it's updating me with people following me on twitch and you guys should follow me on twitch as well because we've been streaming five days a week so go check it out if you're interested in that pretty awesome if you do that links in the description let's keep going Sky Striker, Mecha Hornet Drones. Good card. Not as good without Verite anymore, though. The Shizuku. All right. Very nice Sky Striker card. And then a multi roll. Okay. Multi roll with the Shadow Vampire. So, pretty good cards right here for Sky Strikers. Of course, they are, you know, a main reprint in that set. And now we have the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can we pull the Blue Eyes? It's been a while since we've pulled it. We have never pulled it first edition, though. I would love to do that someday. Let's see. Flame Manipulator. We've got Yami. Dark World Thorns. Enchanting Mermaid. Electro Whip, Frenzied Panda, Hino Thomas Soul, Two Prong Attack, and all oh, of Mystical Elf. It is a foil. I saw the vanilla in the darker border. I was like, wait, did we get it? No, it's just a Mystical Elf, but still pretty good. Not as good on the third one or the second one, but we're going to the third one. All right, we went ahead and grabbed everything. We have Noble Knight Brothers. We got the Pumpkin Carriage, the Iron Hans. All right, nothing too crazy there. Galloping Gaia, DDR, Corn of Oliphant. The Oliphant. Wait, isn't that Lord of the Rings? All right, Machina Rishavager. All right, anything exciting? So far, not really. I mean, some newer commons for the most part. All right, Raging Mad Plants, Edge. We've got the, oh, Machine Angel Ritual. Bad memories there. We've got King Fong. That's still a good deck in Speed Duel, though. Great AC Tatsumi Giants. I played it a little bit on, in Charlotte. I didn't play it in Hartford, unfortunately. We just played Goat. Unfortunately, it was not a side event, though. Okay, Ancient Warriors, very cool. Goldilocks, all right, Goldilocks. And uh, Ritual Beast Bond, another super rare. Nothing exciting in that one. Now we have our packs, which I did see, and they are different. Metal Raiders, Maximum Crisis, and we've got a Flames of Destruction. These are much better, I would say. These all have potential, so like this could be the Ash Blossom. Still an expensive card, still an amazing hand trap. This, I mean, five years later, which is pretty crazy. So let's see, can we pull it? I've never pulled it out of a, other than when we opened 300 packs and we pulled four of them. So yeah, Catarus, but besides that, never pulled it um, yeah, outside of that one video. Digital Bug, Letty Bug. The Metal Tron at 12, the true Draco combatant. And then we got a Coin Dragon. All right, just the Coin Dragon. Nothing too crazy there. Flames of Destruction. Still have never pulled Imperm at all. Never pulled Imperm. I've never pulled uh, Ghost Bell. I have pulled Call By as a common, but it's been a while. Alter guys, we got the Flower Cardian. Goki Octo Stretch, pretty good card. Space Insulator. Manolche for assist star. Trick Star, Bella Madonna, Ultra Rare, and then a Limit Code. Okay, not bad. It's an Ultra. That's not guaranteed. And finally, we have a Metal Raiders Booster Pack. This will be the halfway point. We still have three more cubes, so we can see what we can get out of there. Pretty exciting stuff. Or let's do this. That's the Gate Guardian. I'm sure it is. We got the Insect Soldier of the Sky. Will we pull Pecanio Moth? Jellyfish. Swamp Battle Guard. Niwatori. What does that mean again? Ancient Lizard, what could it be? Empress Judge. The Mega Thunderball. The Shadow Ghoul. And we have a change of heart. Probably the most expensive card in here now. Because <laughs> they just got it off the ban list. I think in your minute it's like $60 unlimited or something insane like that. Whoa! Change of heart, that's literally probably the most expensive card unlimited now. That is epic. Let's go cubes. Are we going to actually make our money back? That's like cost of three cubes at this point. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right, cube number three was insane. I don't know if any four, five, or six even have a chance combined, much less in just one at a time. That is insane. All right, here are our cards. So, okay, a bunch of rares. That's going to be our That's going to be our stuff. Plague spreader, that's a pretty good card. Super quantum. We got the volcanic shell. Well, okay, some usable stuff here. Car Trooper, a lot of uh, a lot of Edison stuff. Okay, backup secretary, ghost from the past. Whoa, ghost from the past has a card, pretty clutch. Prank heads, Roxy's again. We've got two of those now. Salaman, great cards. I heard they're coming back. They might be decent. That's interesting. Chris Strawn, Supply Squad. Oh, 
Oh, that destroyed me in auction series once, which is pretty sad. Mecha Phantom Beast Plesion. We've got uh, a Charioteer, Heroic, and uh, United We Stand, Dino Wrestler, and then Overlet. Wait, wow. We literally got regular rares as our foils. That's unfortunate. They do say rare, so... I guess that's fair. All right, and then we got three booster packs. They're a little bit different this time. Well, this one's not different. This is the same. We got Cybernetic Horizon, Maximum Crisis, and IOC. So a little bit of a mix-up here of some of the ones we've already had, except IOC. We've never had that. Uh, what was this? Cybernetic Horizon? Let's go. The Terrifying Toddler. There it is again. Divine Serpent. Gay. The Divine Serpent. Gay. LaBelle. Universal. We got the Psychic Gaze. Breaking of the World. Oh, a Meg Knight of Morningstar Secret Rare. All right. That's a pretty decent card, I think. Ling Disciple, okay. But I don't think Meg Knights are too good. But hey, that's a secret rare. We will take that. That's pretty good. Pulls have not been too bad, honestly, like with the ratios. All right, maximum crisis time. Let's go. Can we pull that Ash Blossom? That that uh, wrapper won't get out of my way. There we go. Dynamis Talon, great card. We got the Cobalt Sparrow. Man, it's crazy how old that card is. Right hand, Sapphire Swallow. We got the Spiral Power. Spiral Crash, Artifact, Vajra, that I don't even remember, and sub Fiendist, okay, with Ariel, Priestess of the Necros. Very cool, let's hop right into Invasion of Chaos. We've had some great luck with the Legacy so far. We've already gotten a Super LOB and the best card out of Metal Raiders, at least their most recent best card. Change of Heart, let's go. Tower of Babel, the Fenrir, the Sacred Kurane, we've got the Collapse, Amphibious Bugroth, we've got the Shellfish, Soul Tigre, Mad Dog of Darkness, and the Yellow Luster Shield. So just a regular old comment. We got two cubes to go. Two cubes. Let's go. Okay, this is not as crazy with the packaging. This one's like much more, I don't know, something had like happened to that plastic. I, I don't even know what it was. Like it got heated up or something. That was crazy. Oh, we just dumped all the cards everywhere. Nice. All right, let's go through the cards. Poison the Old Man, Eater of Millions, Unizombie's pretty good. Red Red Reboot's also pretty good. Imperial Order. Wow, a lot of powerful comments here. Number 29, Mannequin Cat, Beat Raptor. Dino Wrestler, My Body is a Shield. Just a ton of great cards. Red Reboot, another Honest. Forbidden Chalice actually might be worth money. I'm going to pull that out. The uh, Preda Plants, okay, those are, you know, kind of decent recently. Shark Cannon, this is a lot of good cards. Like, I don't know if they're worth a dollar, but they're definitely, like, decent. Astral, okay, now we're getting to the garbage here. Here we go. That was some good stuff for a while. Handy Gallop. All right, anything else? Parallel Tune, the Neos Alias, TG Warwolf, TG Striker. Wow, a lot of TG stuff, okay. Is that out of a dead? No, it's um, oh, okay. It's out of OTS nine. That's why it's so good. Elowin Jaugen. Okay, pretty cool. Adding Nister and the uh, Zangde. Okay, that's actually a solid common lot to be honest. And then we have a spell ruler. Okay, probably not the one I'm looking for, but that's all right. Oh, Breakers of Shadow. We haven't seen that yet. And then there's a couple cards left near. And then a Dark Saviors. We have another Metaphys Nephthys and a Metaphys Ragnarok. All right, so if we're playing with Thor, I guess it'll help. Dark Saviors. Let's go. Okay, it is officially at the back. We have officially moved it to the wrong spot twice. Quick Booster. We got the Vampire Familiar, Dark Greffer, Foolish Burial Goods, and a Vampire's Domain. Nice card, but uh, I don't really know if anybody's actually playing the Vampires. Now we go to Breakers of Shadow. The Shadow will be broken. What do we want out of here? I just know Buster Blader stuff. That's all what I always say. Dynamis Charge. We got the Super Heavy Samurai, Dynamis Brachion, Dynamis Segasaur. And a Twin Twisters. Yeah, that's one we want. Okay, good card. Twin Twisters, very solid. And uh, the Dragon Buster Destruction Swordsman. On to Spell Ruler. Not final, second to final. <laughs> the Legacy Bag. I was trying to say final, and that was not right. We got the Hamburglar Recipe, the Boar Soldier, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, the Goat Man, Penguin Knight, Commencement Dance, a Red Archery Girl, the Reliable Guardian. Cyber Jar and a Whiptail Crow. All right, it's just the Whiptail Crow, but he's saving it for the end. The last cube of magic. Final cube. Here we go. The the Pyramid of Cubes has officially been opened. Well, sort of. We're opening the last one. All right, we got most of our cards out. They're really jammed in on this one. Okay, we got the Iron Knight, the Twilight Cloth, Dodo -do Bot, Garbage Lord, the Psychic Ace. Very cool. Well, that's an old card from Ancient Sanctuary. Very nice. The Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon. It's like RuneScape collab. The number 17 common. Guardian Grrr. Man, they really printed Leviathan as a common quick. That's in 2013, is that right? That's pretty crazy. March of the Monarchs, uh, Galaxy, Self-Destruct, and okay. Got the Orbital, Fire Prism, Pulse Mines. Terraforming is a good card. End of the World from Shadow of Infinity, very old. Ojama Red, also pretty good. That's from OTS, what is that, 8? Okay. Link streamer. There it is. A streamer, guys. Speaking of streaming, check out Twitch. Just check it out. I mean, just saying. All right, the accumulator. We've got the Noctivision. 
Oh, these are upside down. We've got uh, a bunch of stuff from Edco. Okay, pretty new. Edco is actually two years old at this point, which is insane. All right, let's see what else. We didn't get everything out. We got the uh, the Dark Saviors. We got the Metal Raiders booster pack. And we got, of course, Cybernetic Horizon. All right, what else was in here? All right, Infinitrack Trencher, not bad. Nightmare Incarnation Edelite. I think that... I think both of these are actually decent. And then the Proxy Evan Magician. All right. On to the final three packs. Metal Raiders has treated us well today. So let's see if we can do that again. Here we go into the Crusadia Arborea. Mini Boral. Restoration Point Guard. Crusadia Draco. And a Volticular Drum Gun. It does look... Okay, I won't say cool, but interesting. I'll say that. How about that? I don't know about cool. Cybernetic Overflow. Very good card for the Cyber Dragons. All right. Dark Saviors. Here we go. This has been all right. Can we get um, the big, uh, what's it called? The, what's the big card? That's Sky Striker, Sky Striker, Engage. That's what we want. Donpa, Fur Hires, very cool. Eagle Booster, Tune Table of Contents, Shadow Vampire, and Sagita, Maverick, Fur Hire. Secret Rare Fur Hire card, very cool. It's a Fur Hire, we'll take it. All right, final pack, Metal Raiders, a little squunched. A little scrunched, squunched, I don't know if that's a word. Here we go. Kenyo Moth, let's go. Can we pull it? We've already pulled Changer. All right, now we just need Bikania Moth. Armored Lazard, the Immortal of Thunder. Aki Beam. Stim Pack, pretty nice card. Harpy Lady, the original. Musician King. Killer Needle, it's the Beedrill. Which is Apprentice. And what will the final card be? Oh, I thought it was going to be Vicanio Moth. Rock Ogre Grotto number one. All right, not too bad. Those didn't turn out to be too bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Guard, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic Echo, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Anantai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.